Hi, Josh Biggie here from Criterion Barrels. Uh, we're here today to do a little bit of a comparative analysis between two upper receivers. Uh, one of them is running a Criterion Barrel 16-inch mid-length hybrid contour chrome line barrel. That's got a 1 and 8 twist and a, a 223 wild chamber. And the other barrel we have here is from a uh, premium rifle manufacturer. Uh, uses a cold hammer forged uh, method of rifling. Uh, price point for that one is about $20 more than the Criterion Barrel. I think it retails for about $309.99. Um, so you'll get a pretty good uh, uh, comparison here between the two. Uh, we got this upper end from one of our employees who just signed on with us, and he was looking at kind of uh, uh, rebarreling and, and uh, restructuring his rifle build project. And um, while he, when he brought it in, uh, we figured, well, let's take a look at it and see how it stacks up with the Criterion barrel. So we uh, uh, took a bore scope to it, looked down the bore, and we were honestly surprised by what we saw there. Um, so what we'd like to do today is kind of do a, a similar comparative analysis with the borescope uh, so you get an idea of what the fit, fit and finish looks like between the two. And then uh, probably run it out to the range with a couple different factory match loads to see how the, uh, the uh, accuracy stacks up between the two. So uh, let's grab that electronic borescope and uh, take a look in there. This particular electronic borescope is used by our lapping department to illuminate and magnify the internal surface finish of the bore. Um, so we've got the cold hammer forged upper here. We're going to take a look inside, and as you can see here, there are a number of tooling marks and reamer rings running uh, perpendicular to the direction of travel of the bullet, which uh, will generally cause an increase in copper and carbon fouling and will decrease the accuracy potential of the barrel itself. Uh, this is kind of indicative of the uh, traditional view towards chrome line barrels offering inferior accuracy potential, which is generally due to production techniques uh, such as this being used. So we'll take a look here at the uh, Criterion barrel and you'll kind of see a difference between uh, a standard factory production barrel and a hand lap match grade barrel. So looking through the Criterion barrel here, we can see a night and day difference as far as the, the condition of the bore. Both of these barrels have had approximately a thousand rounds run through them. So it's a pretty close apples to apples comparison between the two. Uh, no reamer rings in this barrel, no tooling marks running perpendicular to the direction of the travel of the bullet. Everything's moving along the axis of the bore uh, from the breech end to the muzzle. Uh, so as you can see here, the potential for uh, much better accuracy and uh, a lack of, of fouling is, is definitely evident in the, the surface finish of the bore. And that's generally why I recommend taking a look through a bore scope if you, you purchase a barrel from a, a new manufacturer because uh, it can be a, a good barrel maker's best friend and a, a bad barrel maker's worst nightmare. So we'll uh, take both of these barrels out to the range here, run a couple of rounds through them, and uh, see how the two stack up. Good afternoon. We're at the uh, Highlands Firearms Training Academy here in Cascade, Wisconsin. Uh, we've got a couple uppers here and a single lower that we're going to be uh, running a few rounds through. Uh, the first upper is our um, cold hammer forged uh, 556 five, NATO 1 and 7 twist barrel. Uh, it's kind of a midweight profile uh, that we had discussed earlier. Um, we've got it on a bag rider attachment here. Uh, we've got it dialed into a bench rest so we can really keep those groups as tight as humanly possible uh, without having a, a full fixture. Um, running a forge upper on it, uh, Vortex Viper PST 6 to 24 power. Um, we've actually got the same optic on both rifles. Um, the rails are similar. Slightly different models from American defense manufacturing, but for all intents and purposes, uh, there should be very little functional difference between these two uppers. So that's the cold hammer forged upper. Then we've got the, uh, the Criterion upper here. Um, same kind of barrel configuration, 16 inch uh, midweight profile. It's our hybrid contour, a, uh, a mid-length gas system. Um, I think we've got a ADM billet uh, upper on this one. It's been Cerakoted. Um, same optic, uh, Vortex Viper PST 624, uh, solid uh, glass on it. Um, should give us no problem printing groups at 100 yards here. Uh, probably do a couple different loads. Uh, we've got a Federal Gold Medal Match 69 grain. Um, we've got a Prime Ammunition 77 grain Boat Tail Hollow Point, as well as a Creedmoor Ammunition 77 grain Tip Match King. Um, the lower we'll be running this on, uh, we're going to be using it for both uppers. It's a general Rock River Arms uh, forged lower uh, with one of their two-stage match triggers in it. Uh, I think we strapped some Magpul furniture on it, a PRS stock, and uh, I think it's a MOE uh, pistol grip there. Um, had great luck with this lower in the past and figure uh, should do well between the two of them. So let's see how they stack up. 
So the first load we're going to test here is the uh, Federal Gold Medal Match 69 grain load. Uh, runs a 69 grain uh, Sierra Match King bullet. Um, you're going to see the, the speed of the video pops up a little bit, about five times speed. Uh, once we get into shooting that course of fire here, that's in, just in the interest of time because I imagine you guys wouldn't want to watch me uh, shoot for a half hour here with three different loads. So kind of sped it up a little bit. Uh, still gets the point across as far as how the the group sizes turn out and uh, with that 69 grain match king load uh, we're seeing groups anywhere in the neighborhood of a little over an inch and a half to two and a half inches at 100 yards uh, which is normally what you expect to see out of a mil spec barrel running ball ammunition um, so there's the third group there all right now switching over to the criterion upper um, you'll be able to see a night and day difference here as far as group size goes, those uh, little bug holes there really show to the bore uniformity of that particular barrel. I'm just checking the mag there to make sure I loaded the proper amount of rounds. Go back to the third group here. And sure enough, Groups just as tight as the other two. Switching gears here, we're going to start running some of this uh, 77 grain prime. Uh, they mark it as their OTM or open tipped match ammunition. Um, 77 grain bullet, also well known as a top notch product from uh, this ammunition, which is uh, manufactured by a Swiss company called Ruag um, using Norma brass. So it's top quality components, and uh, apparently, from what I've heard, top quality machinery they use to produce this ammunition. Uh, I was turned on to this by a buddy of mine, Sam Cummins, who uh, did a video er with us earlier uh, showcasing his recce build that he had put together using one of our 16-inch mid-length hybrid contour barrels. So uh, running it through the Criterion upper here, as you can see, uh, group size is about on par with what you saw at the gold medal match, so it seemed to really like these two loads. Yeah, three more little bug holes. And we'll uh, showcase the group sizes here after the video is done rolling so we can get a little better look at, at how all three loads compared in the, the two different rifles. So as you can see there I miscounted a little bit, <laughs> loaded a couple more rounds in there. There we go, polished it off. The last of the three loads that we ran through these two uppers is from Creedmoor Ammunition. This is their 77 grain tip match king load. Um, Creedmoor Ammunition, very well known in service rifle and high power community. Uh, they actually sell a, a couple different barrel models that we carry, including our 20 inch DCM contour model. Uh, this ammunition, I've had excellent success in a few of my rifles. Um, this particular upper did not like it at all. I think we saw groups in the neighborhood of uh, a little over three inches to four inches altogether. Uh, we'll show those targets shots here after the video concludes. Uh, a little bit of a malfunction there where the target cam went down for the last two shots, but we should be able to pull up that uh, that target here shortly. So running it through the Criterion barrel, um, we saw two out of the three groups were still a sub minute of angle. We had one that was just a hair over, I think it was 1.1 inches center to center altogether, and that I believe that was the middle one that was a little bit bigger, but uh, still phenomenal performance, uh, about what you'd expect to see out of a high quality match ammunition uh, such as this. So run through that last group of five here and we'll take a look at the uh, the target footage. As we can see here the Cold Hammer Forged upper running the 69 grain Federal Gold Medal Match ammunition. Average group size of approximately a little over two minute of angle at 100 yards uh, the tightest being 1.739 a minute of angle on the left there. Uh, so let's take a look here at the Criterion barrel and see how it stacks up. This particular Criterion barrel loved the 69 grain Federal Gold Medal match load. Uh, average group size is about a third of a minute. Um, tightest group was the center one, uh, 0.278 minute of angle. Uh, just some remarkable groups out of this particular load with this particular barrel. It's, uh, the stars certainly aligned uh, as far as which load this one preferred. Uh, each barrel is going to have its own pet load that it, it tends to, to run very well with. And I think we found it on this uh, this particular chrome-lined 16-inch uh, mid-length hybrid contour barrel. 
The Prime 77 grain OTM load performed the best of the three out of the cold hammer forged upper uh, with the only subminute group fired that day with that particular upper which was 0.844 minute of angle with a three group average of 1.523 uh, minute of angle so a little over uh, uh, an inch and a half at 100 yards with that particular load. So as you can see here, uh, once again, there's a marked difference in how the two uppers perform the Criterion barrel, uh, shooting an average of a uh, little under a half minute of angle uh, with the 77 grain prime OTM ammunition, uh, the smallest of the three being 0.439 uh, minute of angle in that center group there. Now we have the last of the three loads. That was the 77 grain tip match king uh, ammunition from Creedmoor Ammo. Uh, averaged about 3.268 minute of angle on the cold hammer forged upper, ranging from a little under 3 minute of angle at 100 yards to a little under 4 minute of angle at 100 yards. Last but not least is the Criterion barrel running the 77 grain tip match king load from Creedmoor ammunition. As we can see here, a three group average of a little over three quarters of a minute of angle, um, the largest being 1.143 minute of angle and the smallest being 0.612 minute of angle. Just a word of note before we close out this comparative analysis. Um, this particular video comparison was not designed to disparage a certain barrel production method or a certain barrel manufacturer. It's more a point to offer a public service announcement to consumers that uh, it's, it's well worth doing research uh, before making a barrel purchase and even after making a barrel purchase to ensure you're getting a quality product. And there's a number of ways to do that. We mentioned uh, inspecting your barrel through a bore scope or uh, looking through unbiased consumer reviews. Uh, you can go on blogs or periodicals. They'll norm normally have listings of different barrel models and how well they perform. Uh, looking into the company's history and their track record as far as uh, national record setting performances go uh, may be a good indicator of product quality. Um, but definitely doing a little research and not buying into the hype that uh, some marketing departments may push with uh, various sponsor shooters or operators or trainers that may be well known in the community um, to really take the initiative and uh, determine product quality on your own terms rather than taking it from someone else. Um, so we'd recommend if you have a Criterion Barrel, go out there, post some reviews, let folks know how it's shooting and uh, how it stacks up to the competition. We'd, we'd much appreciate it. All right. Thank you much. And uh, have a good one.